turn that rig around and get it down the hill. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'll help you remember the legacy of the Magnificent Seven, from their unforgettable roles to the personal triumphs and tragedies that shaped their lives. Please sit down and wait, exciting things are coming. Eli Wallach brought the character of Calvara to life in the Magnificent Seven. Before his film debut, Wallach honed his craft at the dramatic workshop under Erwin Piscator and became a founding member of the Actors Studio, where Lee Strasberg shaped his acting skills. He explored method acting alongside Marlon Brando, Montgomery Clift, and his future wife, Anne Jackson. Wallach's film career began with a controversial role in Elia Kazan's Baby Doll, 1956. He continued to deliver memorable performances with his final on-screen appearance in the short film The Train, 2015. Wallach and Ann Jackson were married for 66 years and had three children together. Despite suffering a stroke that caused vision loss in one eye before 2005, Wallach remained active in his career. He passed away peacefully at 98 in 2014, leaving behind a legacy of cinematic excellence and personal resilience. If you want to explore the journey with me, please leave number one and watch this video until the end. Interesting things are waiting for you in the video. Steve McQueen played Vin Tanner, a key character in The Magnificent Seven. Thanks to the GI Bill, McQueen began his acting journey in New York, refining his skills at Sanford Meisner's Neighborhood Playhouse and HB Studio under Uta Hagen. He first spoke on a theater stage in 1952, marking the start of a remarkable career. McQueen tackled diverse roles, starring in films such as Le Mans, 1971, Junior Bonner and The Getaway, 1972, Papillon, 1973. His final films, Tom Horn and The Hunter, were both released in 1980, showcasing his enduring talent and charisma. Tragically, McQueen passed away in 1980 at the age of 50 after undergoing surgery for an abdominal tumor. His legacy lives on through his iconic performances and enduring influence on the film industry. Horst Buchholz, renowned for his role as the young gunslinger Chico in The Magnificent Seven, initially honed his craft by dubbing voices for foreign films and taking small, uncredited roles. His breakout performance in the iconic Western catapulted him to stardom in Hollywood. Despite his rising fame, Buchholz encountered setbacks due to scheduling conflicts that prevented him from seizing potentially iconic roles. Nevertheless, he navigated these challenges to maintain a diverse and enduring career marked by versatility and dedication to his craft. Buchholz found companionship with French actress Miriam Brew, with whom he shared a family. Tragically, his unexpected passing at the age of 69 in 2003, following complications from pneumonia after hip surgery. His legacy endures through his memorable performances and enduring contributions to cinema, remembered fondly by fans and peers alike. Robert Vaughn, known for his portrayal of the troubled veteran Lee in The Magnificent Seven, embarked on his acting journey at a young age, spurred on by his mother's encouragement. 
His television career took off in 1955, spanning over 200 episodic roles that solidified his status as a familiar face in households across America. Beyond his on-screen achievements, Vaughn found personal fulfillment in his marriage to actress Linda Staub, with whom he shared the joy of raising two adopted children. His career was distinguished by a remarkable breadth of performances that showcased his versatility and unwavering talent. In 2016, Vaughn's battle with leukemia drew to a close, marking the end of a storied career that left an enduring impact on both television and film. His legacy lives on through his memorable contributions to entertainment, remembered fondly by generations of fans and colleagues alike. Charles Bronson portrayed Bernardo O'Reilly in The Magnificent Seven. After World War II, he worked various odd jobs until a Philadelphia theater group hired him for set design, which sparked his interest in acting. Bronson's first lead role came in 1960 on ABC's Man with a Camera, where he played a freelance crime photographer. His final big screen role was in 1994's Death Wish 5, The Face of Death, marking the end of his prolific film career. In his later years, Bronson transitioned to television movies before retiring from acting. He passed away in 2003 at the age of 81 from respiratory failure, metastatic lung cancer, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and congestive heart failure. His legacy as a tough, charismatic actor remains strong. James Coburn played Brit, the expert knife thrower in The Magnificent Seven. Coburn's acting career began on television in 1953, and he quickly gained recognition for his distinctive presence and talent. He starred in several notable films, including Ride Lonesome, Hell is for Heroes, and The Great Escape. Coburn married twice and was dedicated to philanthropy establishing the James and Paula Coburn Foundation. His career spanned several decades, marked by a wide range of memorable roles that showcased his versatility as an actor. Coburn passed away in 2002 at the age of 74 from a heart attack. His legacy continues through his impactful performances and contributions to the film industry, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and fellow actors alike. Brad Dexter, remembered for his role as Harry Luck in The Magnificent Seven, embarked on his acting career following his service in World War II, starting with a role in El Dorado, 1946. He quickly built a robust resume, appearing in notable films such as The Asphalt Jungle 1950 and solidifying his presence in Hollywood. In a remarkable turn of events in 1964, Dexter's act of heroism famously saved Frank Sinatra from drowning, forging a unique bond that transcended their professional lives. This act not only earned him widespread admiration, but also led to a vice presidency at Sinatra Enterprises, underscoring his influence in the entertainment industry beyond acting. Dexter's legacy extends beyond his filmography and into Hollywood lore, 
characterized by both memorable performances and personal heroism. His passing in 2002 at the age of 85 from Empima marked the end of a storied career. Whit Bissell, known for his role as The Undertaker Chamley in The Magnificent Seven, embarked on his film career in 1943, ultimately appearing in hundreds of roles that established him as a familiar face in Hollywood. His talent and versatility found a niche in low-budget sci-fi and horror films, where he left an indelible mark. In recognition of his extensive contributions to the genre, Bissell was honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Academy of Science Fiction, Fantasy, and Horror Films in 1994. This accolade celebrated his impact on the industry and underscored his enduring legacy as a beloved character actor. Tragically, Bissell passed away from Parkinson's disease in 1996 at the age of 86. His prolific career and memorable performances continued to be cherished by fans and revered by peers, solidifying his place in the annals of Hollywood history. Sidney Poitier made a profound impact in the 1960s with his groundbreaking performances that challenged racial stereotypes and celebrated African-American talent. Films like Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, 1967 and In the Heat of the Night. 1967 showcased his ability to bring depth and dignity to his characters, influencing conversations about race and equality in America. Poitier's career was marked by significant milestones, including being the first African-American to win the Academy Award for Best Actor for his role in Lilies of the Field, 1963. His success not only broke barriers in Hollywood, but also paved the way for more diverse and inclusive representation in film and television. Beyond acting, Sidney Poitier used his platform to advocate for civil rights, becoming a symbol of resilience and hope during a pivotal era in American history. His legacy as a trailblazer in cinema and a champion for social justice continues to inspire generations, emphasizing the transformative power of storytelling in promoting understanding and equality. Bing Russell, known for his role as Robert in The Magnificent Seven, began his acting journey with uncredited roles before securing notable parts, such as portraying Vernon Presley in the television movie Elvis 1979. Aside from his acting career, Russell harbored a deep passion for baseball. He famously founded and conducted open tryouts for his independent team, a story immortalized in the acclaimed documentary The Battered Bastards of Baseball 2014. This documentary celebrated his innovative and unconventional approach to the sport, highlighting his impact beyond entertainment. Russell's life was cut short by complications from cancer in 2003. His legacy endures in both the entertainment and sports worlds, a testament to his diverse talents, pioneering spirit, and lasting influence on those who knew him and enjoyed his work. Vladimir Sokolov, remembered for his role as the old man in The Magnificent Seven, began his illustrious career at the Moscow Art Theater before thriving at the K Theater in stage productions. His journey into film commenced in German and Austrian cinema, 
where he garnered acclaim for his versatile acting prowess. Fleeing Europe amid the rise of Nazism, Sokolov brought his rich experience and talent to the United States, making significant contributions to American cinema. His performances in Hollywood solidified his reputation as a distinguished actor known for his depth and authenticity. Tragically, Sokolov passed away from a stroke in 1962. His legacy endures through his impactful roles and lasting contributions to both European and American theater and film, leaving an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Val Avery portrayed Henry, the horse salesman, in The Magnificent Seven. His acting journey began following his service in World War II, where he swiftly carved out a niche as a character actor adept at portraying tough, blue-collar individuals. Alongside his wife, actress Margot Stevenson, Avery nurtured a family legacy in entertainment, with their daughter following suit as an actress. His extensive career spanned numerous roles in both film and television, highlighting his versatility and enduring talent. In 2009, Val Avery passed away at the age of 85, leaving behind a legacy enriched by his memorable performances and significant contributions to the entertainment industry. His impact continues to resonate, celebrated by fans and peers alike for his authentic portrayals and dedication to his craft. Rosenda Monteros left an indelible mark on Hollywood with her role as Petra in The Magnificent Seven. As a strong-willed villager, she stood out amidst the male-dominated cast blending vulnerability and strength. Monteros's role was significant in an era of scarce diversity, making her a beacon of representation for Latina actresses. Monteros's career spanned film, television, and theater, showcasing her versatility and depth. She gained acclaim in Mexican cinema and worked with esteemed directors like Luis Buñuel in Nazarene, 1959. Her elegance, grace, and professionalism left a lasting impression on colleagues and set a standard in the industry, inspiring future generations of actresses. Rosenda Monteros passed away on December 29, 2018 but her legacy endures. She broke barriers and opened doors for Latina actresses in Hollywood, paving the way for more inclusive storytelling. Pepe Hearn, who played Thomas in The Magnificent Seven, began his acting career at the age of 21 and continued working for nearly four decades. He appeared in numerous television series and films, consistently showcasing his versatility and dedication to his craft. Hearn became a familiar face in both TV and cinema, contributing significantly to the entertainment industry with his memorable performances. Hearn's extensive body of work included a variety of roles that highlighted his talent and adaptability as an actor. His presence in the industry was marked by a commitment to his art and a passion for storytelling. He passed away in Los Angeles, California in 2009. Hearn's enduring legacy lives on through the many roles he brought to life over his long and successful career. Robert Joseph Wilk, renowned for his role as Wallace in The Magnificent Seven, 
was celebrated for his adept portrayal of villains throughout his extensive career. His journey in cinema began in the 1930s, where he swiftly established himself as a commanding presence on screen, appearing in notable films such as High Noon, 1952, and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, 1954. Beyond the silver screen, Wilka's versatility shone through in television, where he showcased his acting prowess across various genres, including comedy. Despite his professional success, Wilka faced a formidable battle with cancer, which tragically claimed his life in 1989. His legacy as a consummate character actor endures, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Wilka's memorable performances and his ability to bring depth to villainous roles continue to be admired and appreciated by audiences and colleagues alike. Rico Alanis left a lasting impression on audiences with his role as Sotero in The Magnificent Seven. In this classic film, Alanis portrayed Sotero, a character who added depth and authenticity to the story. His performance contributed to the film's enduring success and highlighted his talent in a male-dominated cast. Alanis's career extended beyond The Magnificent Seven, showcasing his versatility across film, television, and theater. He was well regarded in the industry for his dedication and skill, earning acclaim for his various roles. His contributions to the arts left a significant mark, inspiring many who followed in his footsteps. Rico Alanis passed away on March 9, 2015. His portrayal of Sotero remains a testament to his exceptional talent and dedication to his craft to be celebrated, ensuring his place in the history of cinema as a talented and influential actor. Yul Brynner renowned for his iconic portrayal of Chris Adams in The Magnificent Seven, embodied the quintessential Western hero on screen. His illustrious acting career began on Broadway in 1941, where he meticulously honed his craft before transitioning to star in numerous leading roles in Hollywood. Beyond his cinematic achievements, Brenner's personal life intertwined with fame and romance. In 1983, he found happiness in marriage with Kathy Lee, marking a new chapter amidst his storied career and public life. Tragically, Yul Brynner's life was cut short by lung cancer in 1985 at the age of 65, leaving behind a legacy that continues to resonate deeply with audiences worldwide. His enduring impact on cinema and his distinctive portrayal of characters remain cherished, ensuring his place among the legends of Hollywood's golden era. Jorge Martinez de Hoyos made a lasting impact on audiences with his role as Hilario in The Magnificent Seven. His portrayal of Hilario, one of the villagers seeking protection, brought depth and emotion to the story, enhancing the film's narrative and resonance. Martinez de Hoyos had a prolific career in both Mexican and international cinema, showcasing his versatility and talent. He worked with renowned directors and earned acclaim for his performances, contributing significantly to the film industry. 
His dedication to his craft and his ability to bring characters to life made him a respected and admired actor. Jorge Martinez de Hoyos passed away on May 6, 1997. Martinez de Hoyos' work continues to be celebrated, securing his place in the history of cinema as a remarkable and influential actor. The video ends here. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please visit our channel so you don't miss out on upcoming exciting content. Have a nice day and don't forget to stay tuned for new things in the future.